today's video, I'm going to show you how to clean a window air conditioner. Now, this is so important because when these stop working, life isn't good. The symptoms are usually going to be blowing out warm air or they just don't cool the way they used to. But fortunately, the cause is almost always this, dirt and debris inside the unit. But fortunately, you can clean this out and make it work like new again if you know how. I'm going to show you how to get the job done using just simple dish soap. And in a few minutes, you can have your machine working like new again and keeping you cool. First, you'll want to get the unit out of your window and outside someplace, whether that's on a table or down to your driveway. Now, remember, I'm cleaning a Kenmore air conditioner here that's very standard, but your unit may be different, so use this as just a general guide. As I open up the unit, I noticed one thing right away. This thing is missing its filter. Now, window air conditioners almost always have one of these screens. Now, this thing's job is to prevent large particles and debris from getting into the intake. But even if you have a filter, it's very common for them to look like this, and they're still going to need regular cleaning, especially if they're not cooling properly. And this is what most people will do. They'll grab their vacuum cleaner and start trying to clean out the machine. But unfortunately, this is not the cause of the cooling problem. You're gonna see that the real issue is inside the machine. Almost all window air conditioners are set up like this. They're gonna have some screws on the outside of the casing that you need to remove. These are just Phillips head and I'm gonna remove all the ones that I can see. You'll almost never have screws on the bottom, so this makes it a lot easier to work on. And it's a really good idea to keep these things in a cup or a dish so that you don't lose them and you're sure to get all the screws back in that you started with. Take another second to look for a screw that you've missed. And in my case, I had one right here on the front of the grill. Now it is okay to use something like a small putty knife to pry the front off, but if it feels really tight, make sure you've gotten all the screws off. With the screws out, the cover will come right off. And once we lift it off, we can see where the real root of our problem is. It's the inside of this unit that is absolutely nasty. This thing is covered with dirt, debris, it's got leaves inside, and all of these things are gonna prevent our air conditioner from working the way it should. As gross as this is, we can clean it up using just dish soap. Now in this bottle, what I've done is I've mixed up about a tablespoon of soap along with some water, and I'm gonna squirt it all over the unit. Now you might be surprised to see me doing that because you could be concerned about getting shocked, but fortunately these air conditioners for the most part are pretty much waterproof. The only areas I don't spray are the electrical components and they're going to be contained in a box like this. I don't spray these at all. I also don't spray those black fence, but other than that, I'm spraying everything. And being thorough really pays off. You want to get into all of these spaces, especially the parts that you see the dirt and the debris. Also spray a lot into these grills. You'll have one on the front and the back. These are the areas that do most of the cooling and they may have a lot of buildup. Once I've used up the soap, I'm gonna let it soak in for about five minutes. And now the satisfying part really begins. You're gonna to wanna to grab your garden hose and you're gonna rinse all the soap off. This is gonna take you a few minutes and you're gonna to wanna to make sure to get every area that you sprayed soap on. You're gonna see suds coming out, but more than that, you're gonna to start to see a lot of dirt and debris coming out of your machine. But this is exactly why you're doing this because all of these particles and dirt are getting in the way of your air conditioner cooling your room and keep rinsing until everything gets out of the machine and you don't see many suds left at all. You might think this unit is pretty disgusting and you're right, but this is very typical of just about any window air conditioner. So for people that have allergies or any sorts of sensitivity, all of this stuff can cause you lots of trouble. So that's another good reason to spend the time and get this job done. Rinsing done, I'm going to tip the unit up on its side to get out the remaining water. There's a tray in the bottom and you're going to have some buildup in there, so this will speed things along. Additionally, you're also going to want to spend a few minutes to clean the outside casing and the grill. Now because these things have vents, I find that it's a lot easier to use a brush, but I'm still just using that same dish soap to get the job done recommend letting these things dry for at least a couple of hours. But take a look at the air conditioner. This thing doesn't even look like the same machine. All of that stuff is gone. It's so much cleaner and you know it's going to work better and ultimately cool your room. Now I'm just going to do two more things. I like to wipe down the control panel and additionally I'm going to clean those vents that I didn't spray water in by hand. 
Now we just need to replace our cover and screw it back in place. You'll often find that reassembling a unit is easier than taking it apart. That's because all that dirt in there acts like a glue and it makes everything stick. So you want to snap your front cover back on and make sure you use all the screws that you took out. It's hard to believe that just in a few minutes using only dish soap we could get a result like this. This air conditioner looks almost brand new. But the real question is will the unit work any better? Now the complaint was this thing was blowing out warm air and it wasn't cooling anywhere near the way it used to. So we'll want to reconnect our power and put it in our air conditioning mode and see what we get for a result. Keep in mind window air conditioners will cool the outside air about 15 to 20 degrees. So if the temperature outside is 80, the best result you're going to get is about 60. Now right now the temperature outside is 75, so let's see what a thermometer gives us for a reading. And 59 degrees is a great result and that means that our work was successful and this unit can hopefully keep us cool for a lot more years to come. Window air conditioners are not maintenance free and the older they get the worse they get so it's really important to take the time to clean them if you want them to last. So hopefully seeing me clean my air conditioner will help you clean your own if you need to do it in the future. If you like this video please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already for more videos coming up.